Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we added some form validations to our reactor form. Uh, now we are following such um, structure to for our form to generate some value. But let's say if I wanted to add some other fields as well to it. Um, for example, let's say if I wanted a field set in here. Let me just get rid of this disabled property. And inside that we had a legend that said uh, hobbies. And uh, we also had a button here to add some hobbies. So let me just quickly create that button. I'm just gonna go to the boot website. And I'll just copy this glyph icon that I have here. So I can essentially inside a span tag add a class of this and I should see a plus icon over here. Let's save this and go back to the application. So now we have a plus sign. What if I wanted to just click on this and add some uh, form fields to this form to add hobbies and then um, each of these form fields would have a delete button as well so whenever I clicked on that delete button those hobbies could uh, get deleted from the form so this is uh, especially where reactor forms stand out and that is uh, reactor forms are capable of dynamically adding or removing uh, form fields or form controls as well as form groups uh, from a reactor form so that is what we are going to do in this section I'll go to the con uh, component here and I'll add a section for hobbies like so and this is going to be something like a form array okay so the form array contains a control or controls uh, which would be an array of controls and again it would also contain a validator function or a or an array of validator functions or uh, as the second argument and as a third argument it's going to contain an asynchronous validator function or an array of asynchronous validator functions so I'm just going to specify is that it has empty as of now but then I need the user a way to just add some um, form fields when they just click on the add button so I'll create a method named add hobby to this and inside this we will get access to the hobbies uh, form array using uh, the get method like so and now right now I don't really have um, things like say push on it because um, the get method returns an object of type abstract control so angular doesn't really know that this is of type form array so we'll have to explicitly typecast this into a form array that is something that I'm going to do using this syntax right here like so so I'll wrap this inside a parenthesis and then now I can have a push method onto it to this push method I'll again um, pass in an abstract control and as we already discussed abstract control is the base class for anything like a form group or a form control or a form array as well in this case we are just going to use it for form control but we can use it for form array as well so if we add if we try to add a new form uh, control then we can use the new syntax for a form control and to this i'll just pass um, an empty string as the initial state and i won't pass any form validations as well so this is how you can add these form well uh, these form uh, a new form control to a form array now to show this or uh, present this on the UI though we will need something else so we will first need a div now the UI that I'm going to go for is something of uh, let me just navigate to the input group so I need uh, a UI of this sort wherein we will have an input group a text field and then a button right besides it that um, essentially is a delete icon so let me just copy this markup here and I'll just paste this in here now I need a text field with class form control and let's specify the placeholder as hobby in here 
I'll just get rid of the area described by right now. And uh, in here, in the class input group add on, I'll also add a class for the trash icon right here. So I'll just copy this class and paste it in here as well. Okay, I'll get rid of this ID right now and I don't really need this uh, right here. So I'll save this. Now if I wanted to just um, show them on the UI on the click of this add button, then I'll have to bind to the click event of it. And then I'll have to listen to it and then whenever it is clicked, then I should call the add hobbies method that I've defined inside my TypeScript class like so. And uh, whenever a new for a new hobby component or a new hobby control is added, then I should also um, display it. So that is what I'm going to do. I'll use the ng for syntax and let form control of or let's say let hobby control of now in here I'll need to get access to the hobbies section so I'll do that using the user form so where was I here right here so user form dot get I'm going to have access to the hobbies and on this control I have an array uh, with the name of controls like so so I can have access to them now for this input that we have here I'll also have to specify something called a form control name and this form control name would be the index for the, uh, for just one hobby control inside these inside this controls array so to have access to that index I'll also do something like let i equal to index and now I can pass that value of i in here but since i is a is a property and I need to bind to it I'll be using the property binding syntax like so all right so if I save this now and go back to the application here if I click on the add hobbies button then I should see a hobby getting added to my screen and there's also a delete button in here we'll just make this work soon so if I click on add hobbies then I should see multiple hobbies getting added to my form but I have this delete button as well that is not working as of now nothing is happening when I'm clicking on it so if I wanted to remove dynamically some e uh, some uh, some form controls from my form then I could uh, also bind to the click event of it and I'll call the delete hobby method on this that I'll have to create inside my TypeScript class so let's do that now again to have access to this hobby section from where exactly we will be deleting the um, deleting one specific form control we can call a method named remove at which requires an index uh, and this is the this is going to be the index of the form control that we want to uh, remove from here or the form group that we want to remove from here so I'll pass i as the index uh, to it and save it and then this is going to receive an index i and then I can pass the index right here like so so if I save this now and go back to the application then let's click on hobbies and in this case we'll be able to delete them as well like so again let's click on them and let's make sure that uh, the specific button that we are clicking on is uh, only getting deleted so I'll type in hobby one let me just copy this and paste it over multiple lines like so and now if I click on delete then hobby 2 got deleted if I click on hobby 4 it will get deleted and so on and so forth 
so this is how you can uh, essentially dynamically add form controls or form groups and also remove them dynamically from your form um, this was it regarding uh, dynamically adding and removing form controls from a reactor form in the next video we are going to talk about creating custom validations and using them inside our reactor form so i'll see you guys in the next video